Welcome back downers. Today we're going to make some strawberry salsa. Let's get it. Alright downers, we got a quick video for you here. The strawberry salsa, strawberry pico de gallo recipe. Um, at the end of this recipe, if you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you don't like it, go ahead and hit that dislike button. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or comments or uh, what changes you'd like to make to this. All right, to start off, we uh, took some strawberries and diced those up. We also took out uh, one Roma tomato, uh, diced that up as well in the same size pieces. Took a yellow onion and cut up about half of that, diced that up also. Then we pulled out one of our homies, a jalapeno. Cut up about half of a jalapeno for that. If you're making a larger batch, go ahead and use the whole thing. Then we went ahead and pulled out uh, some cilantro. We have about, uh, about a fourth of a cup of cilantro that we diced up and put that to the side also. Then we got out a bowl and just added all of our ingredients into a bowl. Went ahead and seasoned that up with some kosher salt as well as some black pepper. And then we took out a lemon and squeezed the juice of a lemon into our uh, salsa. And that's basically it guys, that's the whole recipe. I uh, went ahead and took a spoon and mixed all this up together and show you a little quick close up of uh, what this looked like. Um, <clears throat> some of it did fall off our spoon, sorry about that. <laughs> but uh, this is the whole recipe here. Go ahead and pop this in the refrigerator for at least 15 to 20 minutes, um, an hour at best, but 15 minutes is enough to get all the juices and everything to marinate together. And uh, here's a close-up of what our strawberry salsa looked like. Um, this dish came out really nice. Uh, I was very surprised at how this came out and how it tasted. Very simple to make. Uh, basically, all depends on your knife skills. If you can cut up and dice very quickly, you can get this done in five minutes or so. It may take a little bit longer. Um, I'm not saying that my knife skills are great, but <laughs> I'm slowly getting better, slowly getting better at it. But uh, this just came out really well. All of the ingredients melt together well. Just a regular pico de gallo, salsa, tomato, um, onions, cilantro, jalapenos. Uh, but we did do a little twist to it, add some strawberries to that, and that gave a nice surprising increase to that. Uh, we went ahead and came through with a taste test, and um, here's what it tasted like. All right, towners. Uh, here we have, um, we made some, tortilla chips, uh, just took a low carb uh, tortilla shell. What I would do is just cut them up and pop them in the air fryer for like three, four minutes and until they get crispy enough. And these are really crispy to the uh, crunchy. Uh, we're gonna do a taste test of our strawberry salsa. Hope you can see this close up, oh, we lost them. Hope you can see the close up and not my eyes. But if you can't see my eyes, hello. Mm, this, is, this is good. I'm not as surprised when I'm saying this. <laughs> this is good. Um, the, I mean, the regular pico de gallo uh, flavor is all there. The onion, the cilantro, tomatoes, jalapenos. But then you get a... Uh, at the end, like you get the heat from the jalapeno and everything, and then at the end, the strawberry just comes through with a nice little sweetness. It's, it's different, but it's good. I like it, I like it a lot. Hmm. Now I'm thinking like, what else can I do? Just like maybe try it with blueberry or black berries and just the mix, just the whole mixed berry trio with the jalapeno, with the sauce and everything. But I like this. Try this out guys. Strawberry, jalapeno, pico de gallo sauce, just strawberry salsa. Um, Regular pico guy, regular sauce, just throw some strawberries in it. You gotta get that heat though. 
Make sure you put the jalapenos in there. Um, try this recipe, y'all guys. Enjoy. All right, guys, that was our taste test. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Um, you know, as always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy. Enjoy. And please subscribe. Enjoy. Hey, Towners. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. All ingredients and directions are listed in the description box below each video. And as always, thank you guys for watching.